Okay, so this is my follow-up video. Um, I'm just doing a quick equipment rundown check so that you know what I'm going to be using to do the uh, sound sample. Um, so I have a Apple Airport Express here with the uh, the fiber uh, with an optical connector there. That's the toss link. The toss link goes out and it goes into this unit, the uh, Audio Alchemy DTI, uh, and then from there it goes via 75 ohm coax, goes to the Theta Cobalt below, and from there, um, if you can see, that it goes via some KCAG, Kimber um, KCAG over to my tube amp, um, which then has its own volume pot there, and then it goes out my cheapy uh, in-wall speaker cable and hence then into the Fluence SX6. So we're, we're talking about about $2,000 in source material here, feeding the, uh, the Fluence SX6. Uh, a little bit out of um, the normal usage scenario where most people will be buying the Fluence SX6 with uh, empowering it probably with a $200 receiver, $300 receiver. Um, but it just will give us a good idea of what it sounds like. Okay, one quick change before I take my audio sample. Um, equipment is still the same, except um, I've swapped out the tube amp and put in this um, PS Audio um, A100. And that's a, a digital amp, um, about 100 watts, I believe. And this is a, uh, it's a passive preamp. Just because this this amplifier has no volume control, so I needed some some way of of um, controlling the volume, and um, so this is a, a very cheap solution. It's a passive preamp, nothing more than a volume pot in there, and um, some uh, a circuit board with uh, some etches to give uh, give you a way of taking in two inputs and one output, or or you can even use it the other way around, one input, two outputs. But so that's what it's for. Um, so I'm going to take the audio sample with this amp because uh, I, feel, I think that the bass was a little bit lacking with the tube amp as, as was expected for 5 watts. So this will give a, a better presentation.